sometimes I keep back and I often wonder, what if slavery really came back full-fledged, right? They really got back on that stuff again. They really used the military to put us in check. They came in with their guns and everything. They said, you know what? We're going to reenact slavery again, right? And next thing you know, there's nothing we can do because then it took all the guns away. We all messed up. You know what I mean? We like, oh, man, is they really trying to do this? You know, they got tanks going up and down the street, man. The law comes on TV about how they're going to put us back in slavery and everything. And they start dragging us out of houses and stuff like that. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. How many Caucasian women do you think is going to be there? How many Caucasian women do you think that's going to fight? Or they going to come running out the house talking about, I'm white, I'm white, I'm white, I'm white. We can only imagine what that looked like. And another thing, you black man, you're not willing to tell the truth. You're not willing to tell the truth because you know she's not going to be there. You know that Caucasian woman ain't going to hold it down for you. She going to skedaddle. She getting up out of there. When it get too hot in the kitchen, she gone. You know why? Because she wasn't built for the fight. She wasn't built for the situation that she knows that if it was to go down, you can call it a rap. You can call it a rap. She's going to look at you and say, brother, I love you. I love your sex. I love how you treat me. But you know what? I can no longer be down with you because one thing I ain't going to do. I'm not going to go through this right here. Now, you better run and go get that black woman because she willing to stand with you. But me, I got to go. And we know that's exactly what's going to happen. But they won't admit it. These brothers will not admit it. But I hope deep down inside your heart you know. That a push come to shove. You know what I'm saying? Love ain't going to get it. Because she's going right out that door. And she's going to leave you right there with those mixed children that you have. Believe me. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I'm rolling with the woman that I know. That if it all goes down, she's going to have my back. You know what I'm saying? Win or lose. You know what I'm saying? Win or lose. That's why I stick with the sisters. Because no matter what, I know she's always going to have my back. And when the fight comes, she's going to fight with me. And that's it. And if you're going to be with somebody, make sure you be with somebody you know that's going to fight with you, man. Why are you going to be with somebody you know they ain't going to ride or die? They're only there for the moment. They're only there for the comfortability because now it's allowed to happen. But what if they reinvoke slavery again? They get back on that. If we catch a Negro, you know what I'm saying, with a Caucasian woman, we're going to hang him from the highest tree. I could only imagine what that'll look like. You know what it's going to look like? It's going to look like it was before. When they was hanging you from the tree, Caucasian females wouldn't touch you with a 10-foot pole. That's exactly what it's going to go back to. You think she's going to hold you down? She thinks she's going to stay there? You think she's really going to be there for you? Man, you know what it is. You know what the answer is, brother. The only thing I'm trying to tell you, man, is roll with the one you know that's going to roll with you. Roll with the one that's willing to lay it all on the line for you. That's what I'm talking about. Dedication and loyalty, you know what I'm saying, deserves to be paid. Thank you for listening. Like, subscribe. And as always, one love.